You're a friend of God. Because you hear his voice. It's more than just singing a song. <laughs> my sheep know me and they hear my voice and the voice of a stranger they're not going to follow, Jesus said. So, check yourselves whether you are in the faith. Do you not know that Jesus Christ is in you? How do you know he's in you? Well, you're going to feel the radiation of life more abundantly coming through you. Emmanuel. You'll feel his presence. You'll feel his peace. You'll feel his wisdom. You'll hear his voice. Do I want the butter? Oh, we're going to need these, all of them. I'll take your arrows. We got 263 arrows. I'm not buying bomb arrows though. I need. I don't know if I need this butter for anything. But I'll buy it anyway. Sure. Let's have some sugar. I'll take your wheat. All right. Pleasure doing business with you. This is what I came for though. Give me the pants. Calm down. Ooh. Oh, hey. One thousand dollars. <laughs> so I got all. All right, let's put on these clothes. All right. And we got our winter clothes on. I don't know if I have enough stuff to like upgrade it though. Choo -choo. I think I need that choo-choo jelly and I just have to burn it or something. Man, that'll be my best armor if it is. Okie dokie. I'll do the shrines after I'm more into the mission right now. Oh, my hand's falling asleep. How does that even happen? Ooh. Mighty bird. Oh, hear that crack? I don't know if the microphone picked it up, but... You don't want to be stiff-necked. All right, let's go talk to this guy. I really hate that feeling of wanting to sneeze, but you never sneeze. Oh, guys, I hate some chicken, and I felt the presence of God. <laughs> it was so spicy, and as soon as it, like, the spiciness hit my mouth, I also felt the presence of God. That's how spicy it was. I was. I was that close to eternity just by scarfing down that spicy. It was chicken tikka tikka. Spicy barbecue tikka. <laughs> it was great. It was like chicken tikka masala. I got some chicken marinating right now in the fridge. That's what we need to do. We need to marinate on the anointing oil. Make ourselves pliable to the king of glory. Okay, I gotta run across here. Oh, I didn't, I didn't mark the tower yet? We'll go there after. Am I going the right way? Man. I haven't felt this relaxed in a long time. Thank you, Jesus, man. Hallelujah, man. You know what? Stress and anxiety is just a distraction from faith and trust in Jesus. When you when you trust him for everything, like anxiety and fear has no place to land. It might try to come and attack you. Like I remember I got attacked in the middle of the night. I was like worried about my daughter, like about her getting lost 
And then I just like, I was like, God, you got her, right? And then, like, I just chose to trust God that he's looking after. And the peace came and I felt anxiety leave. It was a spirit sent to get me in fear and unbelief and untrust in God. I couldn't believe it. It's like when you trust God, anxiety, fear, and panic has no place to land. So simply just trusting God through your relationship with God. And if you don't know God, you'll get to know Him deeper through worship and reading the Word of God out loud and just believing what you read. You know, there's a lot of perverted pastors out there who will twist the Word of God to make it fit what they believe. But no, you got to read the Word of God so that you're fit to believe what it actually says. That's where all these false doctrines come from. It comes from carnal men with wounds. All right, where's the weakest bow? This one. Pushing their beliefs, their unbelief on you and their delusions. That's why we need to be totally healed, body, soul, and spirit, man. And then we can be a life-giving spirit like Jesus. Anywhere where you've been like touched by Jesus and you have the testimony of Jesus, those are words of life to bring healing and, and God's touch in, in other people's lives. It's like Paul, he's like, I don't beat the air. The air is what leads me.